Our devotion today comes from 1 Samuel chapter 7. Over the last few days, we've been talking about this battle that Israel was in with the Philistines. How they um, had went to battle originally, they had lost the Ark of the Covenant, and the Philistines had sent it back. Um, so they've went through this pretty difficult time, and chapter 7 is really the wrapping up of this story and lets us in on why they lost the battle in the first place. We see Israel returning to the Lord in this chapter. We see them coming to God in repentance, and Samuel is leading them, and he says, if you're going to return to the Lord with your whole heart, you need to put away the sin in your life that you've been practicing. You need to get rid of the idols and the things that caused God to remove his hand of protection from you in the first place. After that first battle, when Israel had lost to the Philistines, they asked the question, why didn't God fight with us? Why didn't he deliver us from the Philistines? And here we have the answer to that question. It wasn't because God didn't want victory for Israel. He did. He wanted victory for them, but he was not going to bless them. When they had this sin, when they had the worship of other idols in their lives, to bless that would just be blessing them being led further into destruction because sin brings death. God says, <clears throat> I want you to have victory, but you need to put away these idols and put away this sin and then come to me and I will show you my victory. It's the same way with us. God will not bless the sin in our lives. He wants us to have victory. He does not want us to have death. But we, when we read the Bible, we see that the wages of sin is death. And so God is not going to bless that. We talked about the other day how we want to be in control of our relationship with God. But that's not how it works. We can't come to God on our terms, holding on to the sin and the idols that we think that we don't have to let go of. And we can't bring those into that relationship. Or even after we've entered into a relationship with the Lord, we can't pick those things up and bring them along for the ride. We let go of everything that God says is not pleasing to him. Every idol, we cast it aside and we come to him and say, Lord God, I know I haven't lived the way that you wanted me to. I tried to achieve victory in my way, and it's only led to death. Thank you, Lord God, for not blessing that. Lord, I want your victory. And when we return to him with our, with our whole heart, and we put away that sin, God is going to bless that. And the, the first way he blesses that is by welcoming us in to him, letting us join in with his life. And we have victory, just like we see Israel has victory in this, because they return to him with their whole heart. They put away that sin. They repented, and they joined in with the Lord and pleased him in the things that they did. A phrase that is used in this passage that just stuck out to me is, put it away Put away the sin that is hindering you, that is keeping you from a right relationship with the Lord. Abandon it. Let it go. It doesn't lead anywhere but destruction. Come to the Lord. Put it away. Put it away. Put away the sin in your life. And let us return to the Lord with our whole heart.